Hello and welcome to another of our MMU Q-Step video tutorials. Today's video is going to focus on bivariate analysis. Bivariate analysis refers to the analysis of two variables to examine the relationship between them. Humans are obsessed with exploring the relationship between two things. You'll have seen newspaper headlines citing relationships between two variables all the time whether they're good, bad, or sometimes even both. So bivariate analysis is really useful to learn. The type of bivariate analysis you carry out will depend on the type of variables you have. If both your variables are categorical, like ours are here, then we can run a chi-square test. So to answer the research question, does life satisfaction differ by sex? where both variables are categorical, we would run a chi-square test. This involves first running a crosstab between the two variables, where we can explore the distribution of the dependent variable for each category of the independent variable. For instance, here we can see a difference in the percentage of men falling into the very satisfied category compared to women. We then run the chi-square test, which provides us with a p-value and if this value is below 0.05, like this one here, then it tells us there is a significant relationship between the two variables. If your dependent variable is scale and your independent variable is categorical, then we'll run either a t-test or an ANOVA or their non-parametric equivalent. If your independent variable has two response categories, then we run a t-test, while if your independent variable has three or more categories, we run an ANOVA. Both the t-test and the ANOVA use the mean score for your scale dependent variable, which in this example is a life satisfaction score out of 100. So to answer the research question, does life satisfaction differ based on sex, where sex is a binary variable, we would run a t-test. The t-test compares the mean of your dependent variable for both categories of the independent variable to see if they significantly differ from one another. So here it compares the mean life satisfaction for females compared to males. The t-test provides a p-value, which if it is below 0.05, like ours is here, tells us that there is a significant difference between the two categories. So here, men and women significantly differ in life satisfaction, with women having a higher life satisfaction than men. To answer the research question, does life satisfaction differ based on what you have on your chips? where our chips variable has three categories, we run an ANOVA. Just like the t-test, the ANOVA compares the mean for your dependent variable for all categories of your independent variable. So here we see the mean life satisfaction score depending on what source you like on your chips. We then look at the p-value for the ANOVA. If this is below 0.05, as ours is, it means there are significant differences between your categories. So we then run a post hoc test to examine which differences between the categories there are. So here we can see that life satisfaction was significantly higher for those who liked gravy on their chips compared to nothing, and the same result for those who liked curry sauce on their chips compared to nothing. While there was no significant difference in life satisfaction between those who like gravy or curry sauce on their chips. If both your variables are scale, or if your independent variable is an interval level ordinal variable, then we can run a correlation between the two variables. To answer the research question, is life satisfaction associated with age, where age is a scale variable, we run a correlation. The correlation gives us a coefficient between minus one and one, where anything above zero is a positive correlation, while anything below zero is a negative correlation. A positive correlation means that increases in one variable are associated with increases in the other. So in our example, as age increases, so too does life satisfaction. While a negative correlation indicates that as one variable increases, the other decreases. So as age increases, life satisfaction decreases. So as well as the correlation coefficient, we also get a p-value, which if it is below 0.05, indicates that this relationship is significant. So thanks for watching this whistle-stop tour of bivariate analysis. Please make sure to watch our specific videos for each type of analysis too. Thanks again, and we'll see you later.